Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a natural scalp scrub. Now let's get into it. Now I'm going to be making a serum base exfoliant, something that's nice and light and non-sticky. Okay, so I've got my water phase here and I'm also going to be making a slurry here with my Zansom gum. I've chosen some Cosphoderm X-Soft. This is a really nice grade of Zansom gum. I'm gonna put this in some propane DL. I don't wanna use glycerin as I don't want it to be sticky. Now with this scalp scrub, this is something that you apply to wet hair. So probably in the shower, um, leave it on for a few minutes and then rinse off with some shampoo. So once you've got a nice smooth slurry, we're gonna add it into our water phase. As you can see, that's formed a nice serum viscosity. Now to that, I am going to add my lipids. I've chosen to go with some Lexafield Natural here. Uh, this is a nice light feeling ester, so it's not gonna make your uh, scalp feel greasy. And I'm also gonna add just a little bit of argan oil. Okay, now I am gonna be adding, as my chemical exfoliant, I'm gonna be adding some fruit acids here. So I've got about 5% of this. So this is a chemical exfoliant using uh, fruit enzymes. So this also is really good for like wrinkle reduction if you want to use it on a face product. It's also really good at hydrating and resurfacing uh, the skin. And it also provides a deep cleanse. So this is perfect for a scalp scrub because it's gonna help lift all that leftover oil or dry skin from the scalp. I'm also gonna add a little bit of fragrance. I've just chosen one from off the shelf here, but you can add your own. I'm also gonna add in some preservative and just a little bit of tocopherol because I have used a natural plant oil. Okay, so now once that's nice and homogenous, we're gonna go in and just check adjust our pH. The required pH is a little bit lower. It's about 4.5 to five to make sure that the chemical exfoliant stays functional. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit overnight and we're gonna cover it. And we're gonna come back and assess it the next day, but that's what it's looking like so far. Nice viscosity there. Okay, so this is what our scalp scrub is looking like the next day. Still a really nice viscosity. Yeah, this feels really nice on the scalp. It's really nice and light, doesn't have a greasy feel whatsoever. You can feel that it's really water-based and there's not a high amount of oils in there and it's not leaving a greasy or heavy residue, which is perfect for a hair or scalp product. And there you go, that's how easy it is to make a scalp scrub using a AHA fruit acid. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.